Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folarin, and my guest this morning is Dr. Amadeli Boyo. Um, he's a medical doctor, is a medical doctor and a social commentator. And today, uh, I thought we might look at the um, how do you refer to it? Is it the Edo State uh, um, House of Assembly crisis or Edo State House of Assembly face-off? Take your pick. It doesn't matter. It ends up in the same place. No, all is not exactly well there. In, so, in fact, so much so that there was a protest um, in the palace of the Oba of Benin yesterday. But before we go too far, let's give you a background um, with this film that goes back to about um, three days ago. The chairman of the House of Representatives ad hoc committee set up to wade into the crisis rocking Edo State House of Assembly. Al-Haji Abdurazak Namdas has assured the Oba of Benin, His Royal Majesty Oba Elwari II and his palace cabinet that the face-off in the state legislative arm of government will be resolved quickly. Namdas gave the assurance at the palace of the traditional ruler when he led a delegation of other members of the committee to Edo State on a fact-finder mission in line with the mandate given them by the lower chamber of the National Assembly. He said they were at the palace to first brief the Oba of their presence in the state and at the same time seek his royal blessing to guide them in the discharge of their assignment. Royal Majesty, we are to work with our colleagues at the state level. This job, we are very aware that is a very serious assignment. The entire people of Edo, Nigerians are watching us. But this assignment, we believe, Your Royal Majesty, with your intervention, this issue would be a very small issue before all of us. I'm going to the point of actually inviting both of them to discuss with them. But um, things have just kept on, kept on escalating so fast. The team immediately left for the task that brought them to the state where they engaged members of the house that had been sworn in in an interactive session. At the end of it, Namdas expressed optimism that the crisis will be amicably resolved and promptly too, having engaged the war inside. Because interaction has been on, we've been talking, but we didn't know some of them went out. On our members, they were already at the chamber, they were neither, either not picking call, or some will say they're in Abuja, some will say they're in Sapele, I won't say it was sick. So, we, we didn't know what was going on. We were already here when we heard they even had gone for press conference. We have spoken to the relevant uh, people that are involved in this particular uh, crisis and uh, all of them are willing to uh, be giving us the support and are willing to sit down at the round table and say that this thing is uh, come to an end. Only nine out of the 24 elected members of the State House of Assembly have been inaugurated. Okay, so that's some interesting background there. Um, the Abba of Benin, you know, saying that he's handing this matter over to um, God and the ancestors. ancestors. Uh, it shows you how intricate um, it must be considered to be. But with only nine out of a total, um, uh, how many are there in the house? 24. Uh, only nine being inaugurated. Uh, there's a sense in which, let's see if you don't know too much about it. Let's see even if you do know everything about it, as we say locally, you get as it be. You get as it be. Nine out of 24. So, what do you think is the root cause of this crisis? Give me uh, your well, perspective. The root cause of the crisis is 2020. The sitting governor is going for election next year, and I think he's trying to prepare the ground for his going in. So, after the recent elections, because you know there's a problem, <coughs> there was a problem um, some years ago when the then governor was removed by the tribunal, and then um, um, later on, uh, Adam Sashimole came in. So, the Election of the state governor for Edo State is not in the same 
um, timing with the national um, election agenda. So the um, present governor, his term will expire next year. And people believe that he's trying to have, as it were, have a very, very cooperative House of Assembly <laughs> so that he won't have issues. <laughs> really, after the last elections where the present House of Assembly members were brought in, um, they were waiting to be inaugurated. And it was a clerk of the House that was supposed to, as it were, declare and the proclamation. So, and this thing was done in a way that the other 15 claimed not to have not to have known. Although right here, the seven they were making calls, that's all they were in Sabla, some of them were in Abuja. And so <clears throat> nine people appeared for the you know, for the swearing in oath taking in the night. In the night. So the oath taking was done at night, which um, the <laughs> chairman of APC called nocturnal uh, meeting. <laughs> and after it was done, they were inaugurated at night and sworn in. So nine people who were loyal to the governor, as it were, were sworn in. And then those nine people have been holding the House of Assembly meetings and plenary. And the other people have said, look, you, are not, you don't form a quorum. We're 24. To form a quorum, you need 12 and above. And those nine people said, the quorum is the number of people that were inaugurated. Yes. <laughs> and since nine were inaugurated, three will form we'll a quorum. Form a quorum. And as since oh, they're not dear. inaugurated, they should wait for the inauguration. Oh. One or two members have already gone to get inaugurated now. So they've been saying, OK, if you agree to be inaugurated, so they said no. The proper inauguration must take place where all of us must be inaugurated because now those nine have elected their speaker and the deputy speaker. So the others are saying we must dissolve this, um, this inauguration and do a proper, well advertised, well um, publicized inauguration where all of us will be told in advance you don't call us at night that look, come to the House of Assembly complex for, for, for your inauguration and swearing in. So the other um, 15 are insisting that this present, this, they call it the 7th House of Assembly, mm -hmm. uh, was not properly inaugurated. So there had been a lot of confrontation and standstill. Don't forget the governor needs his cabinet, the governor needs the House to do a lot of things. So those nine people have gone on with the speaker, deputy speaker, working with the clerk, and they said they were the inaugurated nine. The other 15 were governor, elected, but not yet inaugurated. So they can't even enter the assembly until they, they, they take their oath. So what we have now is the, the, the became, it, became, it became prolonged and lingered, and the Federal House of Reps now said, OK, um, a section of the Constitution says where the uh, State of Assembly had reached a point where it could no longer hold its meetings, the House of Reps had the right to investigate the National Assembly and, if deemed appropriate, take over the functions which is in the Constitution, take over the functions of the State House of Assembly. So the State House of Assembly had gone to court to insist that the court should determine whether it is um, whether it's it's proper for you to go on the 15. Hmm. So they are now saying that the case is subjudiced. That hmm. since it's in court, <laughs> the Federal House of Reps has no reason to come. So they have given the Federal House of Reps, uh, they moved the motion, which was supported by unanimous vote, that the governor within seven days should inaugurate to do a proper inauguration, daytime inauguration of the House of Assembly, or else the Federal House of Reps will take over. The Senate has been having some discussions with them to also come in to see how they can resolve the issue. But the issue now is nine members of the House of Assembly have considered themselves to the House of Assembly, and they now form quorum with three. Whenever three are available, they have the House of Assembly session. And the matter is in court. For the court, the day, I mean, they are saying that nobody can come into this matter, it's sub judice. Yeah, it's sub judice. So, and by the, by the, by the uh, don't forget, all these people are APC, all progressive Congress. And then, um, uh, but you see, the problem people are seeing there, apart from 2020, is the power of Godfatherism. People are thinking <laughs> that um, the present governor is supposed to be a godson to the chairman of the APC, who was the um, the previous governor of the state, the immediate past governor, and people believe that since the party lacked internal democracy and the primaries were flawed, that the governor had picked Obaseke. Now, Obaseke had come in now, and people believe, and rightly or wrongly so, that the chairman of the APC, who is supposed to be godfather of Obaseke, has issues with Obaseke. 
And so and he has denied that. He has denied, he has denied that publicly. Yes. Say, I have no issues with Obaseki. Yes, and Obaseki has insinuated that these things have are being um, are being manipulated from Abuja, and those fifteen members are now basically living in Abuja because they said their lives are being threatened <laughs> in Benin City, so they find Abuja more comfortable to live in, and the governor the governor is insisting that the problem is just a problem that can be resolved by the House of Assembly. Don't forget, it's, it's a family affair. Yeah, the nine people are in support of the governor. And so people believe that when Oshimole was coming for his eight years, his first time in his office, his campaign was that godfatherism will die and that he was coming in without a godfather, he was coming in on the platform of the Nigerian Liberal Congress, having, uh, having um, excelled as a leader in unionism, he was coming in without a godfather. So he won the election. So the common trend now is that you said no to godfatherism. Mm -hmm. You want to become a godfather here? Allow um, Governor Baseki to carry on with the good work he's doing. And the average person on the streets of Edo State believe that the present governor is doing a good job and that the uh, previous governor is trying to uh, control the present governor. So they have what they call in Edo State now the legal state treatment. They believe that the party is trying to give uh, Obaseki the treatment that the last governor of Lagos State was given in Lagos, that he will not get to see the second term. So these are the intrigues going on in Edo State right now. And, and, so, and, and then to further either simplify or complicate the matter, all of what you've just said will be denied in terms of, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing. We've heard... Uh, the chairman of APC say he has nothing whatsoever to do in the matter. He has no issue with him. No, but, but he has come to castigate the nine that got inaugurated and say that uh, they've turned the House of to a court that meets at night. That how did they get to be inaugurated at night? That uh, parliamentary matters are done in broad daylight. That for them to have been inaugurated in the dead of night meant that they were cultists. So, and he has, he has openly rebuked them and said that, you know, there was a problem like this in Bauchi. Even this Edo State, 2014, <laughs> had a similar issue when the ACN and the APC came up. And those members of the AP, then ACN that were not going to be in line with, um, with him uh, crossed carpet and said that the ACN was not a party in, in, in division. So they wanted to cross carpet and join the PDP. So, and they were going to be resisted. So they have been... This thing is not new to Edo State, and um, the issue here is why will nine people be able to run the state when 24 people are supposed to be in the House of okay. Assembly? It's, it's, it's an interesting tale. Yeah. In, in fact, it, it almost looks like, a, it almost sounds like a, like a piece of fiction, yes. uh, but it's reality. It's, yeah. it's, it's Three hard. canals from a quorum. Well, Reverend Dominic in Alimosho, good morning, sir. Good morning, Yuri. How are you today? Thank you very much for coming in, for calling in. Good morning to your guest. Good morning, Dominic. Yuri, having been not well informed. Yes, could you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. So, I'm not well informed about the politics, the intrigues, and not the intrigues. And again, I've said it before, when two politicians are fighting, if you have wisdom, don't jump into that fray. But this is what I want to say. The fighting they do now. The fight in Edo is what caused the problem. Remember, there's a problem in Zafra State, and the APC lost totally in Zafra State. The same thing happened in Ogun State. The proud of uh, our own party in the south is where I come from, in Imo, is the same internal party, Rangles, make us to lose Imo. It makes us to lose Portacot. And the same thing want to play out in Edo. This internal fighting, we, we won the election last time free and fair. But this internal one have caused it has the same thing happened in Oyo State. So could you imagine Zamfara, Oyo, Edo, uh, Imo, how protect River State? How could we be losing? Not because people don't want to vote for us, but because of our own error. Men could have uh, politicians learn a lesson. I think Oshimo is bigger than this. He brought this young man. I I remember four years ago when he was taking him everywhere in the Joe State. I said because he joined him to reform a Joe State, he's the best person to govern a Joe State. When has this man turned to become bad? I'm not fighting anywhere. When has he become a bad person now? Please, for the good of APC, which most of us have invested our emotions, they should find a middle ground in a Joe so that what happened in Zamfara, what happened in New York, what happened in a good state, what happened in my own state, Imo State, should not happen again 
in a dope state. Why we are taking from PDP? Mm -hmm. It seems that we are turning the game from the back door. Mm -hmm. That would be my own contribution. I'm appealing to uh, Ashimole, Ashimole. I'm appealing to APC. I'm appealing to everybody that has good conscience in a dope state that a dope should not split from the hand of APC. It will be, be a bad trend. That's my own contribution. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, Dominic. Job you are doing. Thank, thank you, Dominic. As for, a for fervent APC supporter. Oh, <laughs> yes. But, but, but you, 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 I, and you can see he's bemoaning the fact that <laughs> Why, from from his perspective, and perhaps other people watching it, what's this thing with APC tending to be able to shoot shoot itself in the foot so effortlessly? I think effortlessly. it's hubris. Hubris. Um, uh, yeah. when, when success mm. becomes a god, you know, and you think you can have your way all the time. Because and the main problem here, like I said earlier on, is the death of internal politi internal democracy within a party. Once a party cannot sustain internal democracy, people begin to have, godfathers begin to show up. And people now know that. It's not as a result of the votes of the delegates in the party. You can manipulate people and have your way. So the solution now is for us to continue to, as it were, um, build party structures that can sustain themselves. Look at the Conservative Party. Look at now um, and other parties all around the world. Internal democracy is very powerful. We know Godfathers will always exist, but internal democracy, we now have to democratize these parties at the level of the primaries. Now, going back to what you said about Godfatherism, mm. we cannot rule out the fact that the, that the former governor has become a Godfather of sorts and is very concerned about who rules the state. And that's a big problem. People should, be, should have confidence in who is ruling the state, like what he said. If somebody has been put down and is doing well, allow him to run it four years through. But the point is that next year, there's going to be an election in those mm -hmm. states. And if this man, the present governor, becomes very powerful, has the House of Assembly in his pocket, has the delegates of the party in his pocket, is becoming coming back in the second term, becomes taken for granted. Okay. Um, Nelson in uh, Benin City, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, this is Nelson. I'm a, I'm a regular, regular caller calling from Benin City okay. always. Great, great, this great. Is, the issue with Edo State is that uh, Shumole should just stay out of Edo State. Because everybody fell in love with Shumole when he was coming because of his ideology of one man, one vote, no to God for that reason. In fact, that was the reason why I even campaigned for him. You understand? Now, he, when he was leaving, he single-handedly brought Governor Obateki. He single-handedly selected uh, uh, Philip Shuaibu, which is the deputy. Even when Obaseki won the election, he single-handedly selected all the uh, commissioners. Obaseki was it against him. Against him. Now, he's trying to... That, God for that reason that he has he, uh, 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 kicked against, that he used as, as a tool in, uh, become, in becoming a dose governor, he wants to become a godfather. Oshomole has used, Oshomole has lost his reputation in a dose state. In fact, when Oshomole comes to a dose state, he will no longer be followed by crowd because the reputation that he has built for years in a dose state, he has, he has used his own feet. To, to, to rub that reputation uh, on, on the ground. In fact, the member of a two state as a one of the members, is a co -member, member of mine. You understand? So I know everything that is going on in the two state. Obaseki, since the existence of a two state, Obaseki is one of the best governors. He is the way can see governor. He does things and he does it sharp. You understand? He does not look, come to a two state and look at the total reform. Of Edo State, the sanity in Edo State. When Osomole was the governor of Edo State, Agbero became, Agbero became the, the, the first citizens in Edo State. Uh, those that were educated in Edo State was like, the, 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 the education was not being encouraged because the Agberos in Edo State became the billionaires in Edo State. He encouraged them. And those are the people, the people that, that Osomole is using to fight Edo State. If Osomole does not take time, what happened in Oyo State will happen in Edo State? If Obasa kids become to Another political party, Obaseki is going to win the next election. Okay. The Thank only way that they can nail Obaseki is to is not to make him win the primaries. And yeah. for that to happen, Obaseki will become to another, another political party, and a dossier will be lost to another uh, political party. Okay. So Oshimola should stay out of a dossier. All right then. And I'm speaking the mind of 
everybody in Edo State because I go around all the popular places where people sit down and discuss huh. policies. Okay. And this is the same view, the same uh, view that okay. most people have. Because you should be listening to me now. He should stay out of Edo State. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Nelson, for calling in an impassioned, um, you know, contribution Speaking there. Of everybody. Uh, well, I'm, you know, as I said, very <laughs> quite impassioned. Yeah. Uh, says he's speaking the mind of everybody, uh, but but clearly it, it's 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 um, yeah. an issue that apparently you can't be neutral about. Yeah. You you you're passionate yeah. one way or the other. Yeah, there are two that. things there. The first thing, the Godfather is the next thing is 2020. Yeah, but one thing we cannot and talk the primaries, yeah, the primaries, primaries. Yeah, but one and thing, looking ahead to look, that uh, Nelson there seems to think that if you don't handle this well and Obaseki walks, yeah, uh, he he's not too sure. How yeah, it is but, fair. Yeah, but don't forget, don't forget, nobody's trying to um, attend to the issue of nine members of the House of Assembly. Well, what happened to the 15 other members of the House of Assembly? Duly elected, but they cannot take their seat because the nine members are saying that they must come for, his, for their own special uh, oath taking. Because an assembly, a seventh assembly, has started sitting without the nine members, without the fifteen members, and these nine members are now going ahead with it. Now these are the issues. I agree with him that Godfatherism is not good. Yes, the new governor has been doing so well that he mentioned his nickname. There, we can see governor. Mm. In other words, if you sleep tonight, you wake up tomorrow, your you new street could have come up. Yes. You know, so he's doing wonders. But if you look back, this is one of the problems with our governors. Their first term are always very beautiful. It's in the second term in an attempt to consolidate and become a godfather after leaving office, that they tend to have issues. Now, I, 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 you can also see here that we must, we must take care of the issues of the 15 people. That, that issue That's is very, very, too very much basic. of an elephant. Yeah, it's, it's too, too, too much, much of an, an elephant, elephant in the room. In the yeah, room. Yeah, and yes, you yes. Know, uh, those that don't wish to see it are not seeing it. But yeah. you can't wish away 15 members. members. That's a problem. Honorable John in uh, Calabar, I believe, Honorable John? Yeah. Is that you in Calabar? Good morning. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, please. We can hear you. John? You can hear me? Yes. Please, co please go ahead. Okay. The issue we are listening to is about the Do State Hanover Assembly. It is very pertinent for us to understand very clearly that Osomale is, is absolutely usurping the powers of the national chairman of the APC. Sorry, Oshomole is the national chairman of APC. He is the national chairman of the APC, but he's usurping the powers of the national chairman of the party. To otherwise impose on himself the powers on the House of Assembly. Hello? Yeah, yes, we can. We, uh, did you mean he's usurping the powers of the assembly? He is usurping those powers okay. to superimpose on himself on the legislative arm of the Edo State House of Assembly. Okay, all right. So that, that's it. That's your contribution. That's your main contribution. That's what you wanted to, us to know. No, I, I, are you getting me clearly? Yes, we are. I think there's a problem with network um can you hear us john john no i am still coming on okay please ca please carry on those powers he is exercising are not enshrined in 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 the in, in the privileges of the national chairman can you hear me yes we can hear you john don't bother about that just continue please just I speak think on those powers he is exercising are not enshrined in the privileges of the national chairman Several, nine members of the House of Assembly have so inaugurated themselves. And the leadership of the House of Assembly in Edo State, the leadership of the House of Assembly in Edo State has been inaugurated. John, are you listening to yourself? Don't do that, please. Just continue. And therefore, for the governor to be, to be part of the manipulation of forcing himself to create the crisis in a state is absolutely out of the system. We are here to sanitize the democracy we have so fought for mm -hmm. in APC. Okay. The last speaker who called in mm -hmm. made it very clear of a shameless practical impositive powers in the parties and states he so mentioned. 
I'm sorry you excluded what happened in Cross River State. In Cross River State, Oshomole imposed himself with his tendencies to scatter the possibility of electoral victory for APC here. And that is what he's, he, he's trying to entrench in the House of Assembly. Okay, and that, that's, now, that's clearly unacceptable to you. Assembly, that's unacceptable to you. In the House of Assembly, mm -hmm. once the leadership of the, of, 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 of the Assembly is so chosen, other members who are not there are not members of the House of Assembly. They are members elect. They can only become members of the House of Assembly upon inauguration. Okay. All right, then. Okay, John, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for calling in. We'll take a break now. Please don't go anywhere. We'll, you know, continue when we come back. And, of course, we'll keep on taking your calls. Okay, welcome back. And um, we're looking at the crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly. And by now, even if you didn't know before, which I doubt you, you now know, the, the minority um, is in charge there, uh, 15 of the 24. Nine of them. Uh, well, are out. 15 of the yeah. 24 are out. And only nine are holding sway. Yeah. And um, uh, we started off with Dr. Modeli Boyo, who you just heard. Uh, and now we've been joined by lawyer... Evans Ufeli, a public affairs analyst. Uh, thanks for coming on, Evans. Thank you. Um, well, this is really your area, although all of us have come to be pocket lawyers when it comes to the matter of quorum, the matter of majority, minority. So at least we know what... Look, 9 over 24. Ordinary... I don't, I don't know Buko. 9 over 24. It doesn't work out as a quorum, but we've even heard that you can go as, as far, if, depending on how you interpret the whole thing, where we have been told three can even be um, a quorum, if not a majority. Give me your perspective on, on all that's going on. You, you heard the calls that have come in. Mm. People, they, even the Oba of Benin has said that he's handing this, over, this matter over to God and the ancestors yes. to intercede. Yes. And you know that that's a very serious, it's a, it's a real yeah. complex matter. Once you start yeah. handing over to God and the ancestors, the you know that it's a very, very <laughs> naughty issue. Yes, uh, but before we hand over to the deities, mm. uh, let's look at the grand norm, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended in okay. uh, 1999. Like Sounds like a plan. Uh, uh, section 11 of the 1999 constitution as amended laid down the procedures uh, where there is crisis in the State House of Assembly. It is expected that the National Assembly will, will take over the activities of that State House of Assembly. Uh, the idea behind this is because that state also have representation in the National Assembly. So by extension, they have power to oversee. But the area of suspension, using the DSS and all that to block and suspend the House from further activity, uh, is unconstitutional, is null and void. They don't have such powers. It's even the House of Representatives, which is not a full House of the National Assembly, just a, a side of it. Then coming back to the issue of the quorum, the nine against 20, uh, nine against 15, yes. total of 24. Yes. Um, uh, if you look at it, there is an allegation that the governor of the state, the proclamation he made uh, for the inauguration of that was done clandestinely, that they did it surreptitiously to keep the notice away from certain members mm -hmm. who were perceived to be uh, loyalist of the former governor, Adam Soshimono, who is now the national chairman of the APC. That is an allegation, a grievous one. Investigation is ongoing on that, but why that allegation stands, uh, uh, there is uh, nothing really, really concrete with what these nine members can do. Uh, wh why? 24 members uh, have uh, mandates uh, of the people. Me, please, Evan, sorry for interrupting you. I know you're a lawyer, and I know you, you're going to be careful with your speech. But why are you using the word allegation? That the no, governor no. is alleged yeah, yeah, that, to, because to, to, to have so, uh, proclaimed the assembly with just nine people that he favors. 
present. No, no, that, that's the allegation we have there in the media. It's out in the media. Uh -huh. that, An allegation that, 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 that certain members were not put on notice. Okay. You understand? You know okay. it is the, the, the governor have the power to make the proclamation for yes. the constituents of yes. that assembly. But they clearly were not put on notice. They clearly were not told. They clearly... Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that is... You so know, what, what, what I mean... Where is the word what, allegation coming from? I'm calling clearly, that? clearly. <laughs> the, the, and beyond you know, that, you know, beyond the that the inauguration took you know, place at night. No, you, know, you know why, I, why I'm uh -huh. saying... Why, <laughs> you, why are you lawyer? Why are you why why is is using the word allegation to what is evident, manifest to everybody? No, why I'm using allegations because a competent court of law have not said so. Okay. And there's investigation ongoing as oh. regards that. So we have to so if we, if, yes, so if we come because we have to play by the rules, yes. the rule of law. Yes. And all if of we that. come to the public and then reach that conclusion that they were outrightly not informed, I mean, you know, we'll be hitting against investigation ongoing. We'll okay. be hitting against the appropriate authority that's supposed to give us that information. Okay. Uh, so now, that's why I, I put it that way. Now that is, and, and again, I think it should be said is that this is why it's very good to have law. Uh, and you know rule of law. So because of this now, instead of people bringing out cudgels and cutlasses, no, 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 no. We can use words like allegation, and uh, even though it's ho ha clear to everybody what has gone on, mm -hmm. but still there's a method to this whole thing, and you must follow that method if you are going to be a civilized maybe, person. Maybe I can put. Maybe I can. Maybe I can, maybe I can come in here. You know, maybe, because I know I am coming at it like a bushman, an outsider, total outsider. That, yes. Which one is allegation? It's yeah, there. But you see, it's the manifest. Point, the point is that uh, not really an, uh, there's common sense in this. Um, for the House of Assembly to be inaugurated late at night, mm -hmm. and nine people were there, mm -hmm. I mean, it, the nine don't even form a quorum on 24. Yeah, but you I see, me, but, if, but instead if, of you to, if, instead I'm of allowing, means, we, yeah. we can't apply common sense. No. You say, no, let the court decide that yes, one. Yes, I agree with no, you. But if they, those nine people were asked, when were you inaugurated? They agreed you were inaugurated at night. There's only a video clip <laughs> showing the inauguration at night. Where some people even want short nicker to the House of Assembly for the inauguration, you know? And the press were not there's invited. No, there's no dress code now. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is they came from home. They came from home. The press was not informed. You know, there are some things you can look at oh that can make common sense, you oh know? Dear. Nine people out of 24 who gathered together at night. Yes. Not 6 p.m., not 7 p.m., not 8 p.m., not 9 p.m., Look. And they now held this, the proclamation was given, and only the, the other 15, I want to tell you, if the 15 heard, they would have gone. Yes, ma'am. But then the question they are now saying is that those nine people have decided that nine of them formed the seventh assembly of Edo State. Mm -hmm. And that whenever they meet, three of them will form a quorum, mm -hmm. which is one third of nine. Mm -hmm. And they have carried on like that. Mm -hmm. And now what would have thought that there would be a need to broker peace and say, okay, let's come around together. You 15, you didn't hear. Tomorrow, those 15 said they can't be sworn in differently because those nine have chosen their speaker and deputy speaker and majority leader and minority leader among themselves. So, and so if the 15 come in, mm -hmm. they are going to be subject. But then somebody once said that those 15 could just come in, let them be sworn in. Mm -hmm. Since they have majority, they can still vote against the speaker and still call for the impeachment of the speaker because they are 15. Well, it, it yeah. even appears that the nine of them yes. will, uh, will be principal members in a way because... Uh, you are going to have a chief whip, you are going to have a speaker, you are going to have a deputy speaker. All of them. Are, so, <laughs> all of them. So, 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 so they are already, I mean... Uh, uh, but, but, but does, well, it, I, I don't know. I, apart from politics, you see, it's because it is politics is why we're talking about this. If it were logic, we wouldn't even spend two seconds on it. But it's not logic. It's not. It's, it's, it's politics. It's, it's politics. And, and um, we, this, is, this, is, this is an issue. If the 14 were to join... The 15. If, uh, again, if the 15 were to join, I don't know if logic might... And we've agreed that we're not using logic here. Wouldn't it be logical for collapse everything that happened before? Now we have 24. That, that is now, what the 15 are saying. Yes, yes. That's, now now let's start again. Yeah, that whatever happened before was a sham. That uh, it was just an attempt to, you know, would wink the situation and then make everything practically uh, mm. impossible because mm. of the interest and the, mm -hmm. the power mm -hmm. that be, you understand, in the yeah, state. Yeah. So, but that is not to say that uh, the House of Assembly, the, the um, House of Representatives, you know, the power they weeded against uh, is not even the solution. The solution would have been to look for a way to dissolve. Yes. Because the law says that it's when they are unable to transact business, carry on legislative activities, that is when the National Assembly, not the House of Representatives, can take over. And taking over does not mean using the DSS or using any law enforcement agency to shut down 
that's unconstitutional. But now looking at the, 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 the act is condemnable. I mean, nine persons coming together and all that. It, it should collapse because it's like putting something on nothing. 24 people have mandates. Yeah, but we can't, I, from what you, we have learned, you can't even say you're putting something on nothing because that's not the way it is. It's in court. So evidently people think there is something. And it's for the church to pronounce whether that is something or nothing. Uh, no, no. When, when you look at it, uh, you look, you're, you're going to lodge it. <laughs> you're going to lodge it. Uh, Yakub, good morning, Yakub. Uh, good morning, Ifiori. Thank and you for Good calling. morning to your guest. Sure. Good morning. Uh, Ifiori, to me, uh, with due respect to the first caller, that uh, Adam Sushamale wants to be a godfather, he's in the United States. I want to tell you, Ifiori, there's been any professional uh, job quote and unquote, in this country today that does not have uh, godfatherism. For example, why do we have a uh, fake crime journalism? Sometimes when they want to address someone, they will say it's a fake crime journalism. Why do we have SAN? There is always seniority in anything. Let me give you a typical example here. Chief uh, Bola Hamed Tinubu Ashwadu is a godfather. He's a godfather. And then make sure that the godfatherism of Ashwadu Bola Hamed Tinubu he, he made a lot of people to become a good politician today. Example is so close to us uh, in terms of uh, Arik Beshola, of, uh, former governor for your uh, state. And so many of them. Let me tell you, Shifiori, I didn't think the incumbent governor of Edo State today did not have support of uh, Oshio Omale. How come he's going to become that governor? See, Shifiori, for me, Edo State of House of Assembly, they were never the uh, Edo State of House of Assembly now because they were not from the quorum. And then they, they did that in midnight. I, I've never seen where the, the House of Assembly inaugurating themselves midnight. See, the question is this. The, House, the National Assembly, they should be able to weigh in the way they are doing it. When they finish their investigation, they should make sure that all the, uh, all the people that voted for in that house they make sure that they come back in that house and then protect for who they really want to lead them. And then they see if the nine is going to be bigger than the 15, and then they will not know where to go. The uh, Adam to show my love a thing. You can't rule it out. Yes, it is a politician. And then this is a fight to be a politician because every politician needs to have a power in order to be a relevant person. You cannot just say the man is a former governor of uh, Edo State. He should be just keep quiet. Yes, he was the one who even made the incumbent governor. So, quote okay. and unquote. All if right. he does not have, as I said, like, does not have the, okay. the support of a former governor of that state, he can never be a governor of that state. Okay. So, in the not say, Tijori, this thing can never be stand. The 50 people should be able to hold on to what they believe in, and they should be, they should be able to make sure that they come back to that National House of Assembly, and then put it for who they really want to become their leader in that National House of Assembly. Oh. That can God bless you. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, that was the secretary's route, and then he came back to uh, common sense must prevail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently, godfather or no godfather. Yes. But he started off, uh, maybe, maybe one should understand that he's saying that, look, you can't change actuality, and, uh, but... I hope I'm interpreting him right. But at the end of the day, common sense must prevail. Because yes, and then politicians who assume because this, this position of godfatherism and all that, mm. they should also understand that uh, it is not in every activity that they have to wade total blanket influence. Okay. Because, okay. I mean, legislative business are business that are supposed to be yeah. state affairs. So, yes, for, for the, uh -huh. so for the know, past for governor the to be making such interferences and is, is uh, difficult for you to... Yes. To but move the, on in the democratic but, but, dispensation where you the, have such interferences. But the former governor and APC chairman now uh, has said that um, he doesn't have an issue uh, with Obaseki. That much has been said. But then again, you see, when politicians are speaking mm. and, you know, they are speaking uh, poly political language, maybe, uh, one maybe. to decipher it is another matter. Before yeah. you go, doctor, yeah. let me just bring in uh, Mr. George. Good morning, Mr. George. Yes, good morning. Good morning. And good morning to the guests as well. Good sure. morning. Uncle, your truth must be told. It is not a sin to be a godfather. What you do with godfatherism is what counts. Yes. Anybody that wants to come into uh, the political scene needs help in one way or the other from those who have been there or those who have the uh, upper hand in, mm -hmm. uh, in the hierarchy. So you can't rule out 
God for that reason. I, as uh, a watcher from a distance, I see the hands of the former chairman of APC, John Oyegun, in these intrigues, who I understand from some forces that is making attempts to take the governor along to the PDP. It is not, a, everybody knows that what is happening there cannot be defended legally or even morally. 24 members are elected, only nine members uh, are now recognized by the government. The governor is only doing that because he sees that the issue with uh, 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 Comrade Oshomole cannot, he cannot uh, resolve it and he wants to be re-elected. I expect the chairman of APC, Comrade Oshomole, to, you know, demonstrate more maturity. If you are not having your way, even though you are the one that brought the governor, don't allow things to degenerate at the essence of losing the state to, you know, to, to opponents. That is what is about to happen now. I will uh, expect the president to intervene in this matter. Mm. Call the two people mm -hmm. and talk to them heart to heart and resolve the matter. Mm -hmm. Each one should give and take. It is shown, you know, the governor should not have everything. Oshamale should not have everything as well. Mm -hmm. You can see that even though the governor is in charge, it's only nine members he can gather to himself. That should tell you how much work Oshamale did to bring about the members of the House of Assembly and even the executive in the state. Mm -hmm. You can't wish it away just like that. Yeah. I know the, the governor is doing well. Oshamale did well as well. A caller said that uh, 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 Oshomale did not do anything about education. I'm very familiar with Edo State. Oshomale built schools in every village in Edo State, and we saw what he did with teachers. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you just don't condemn people because you, you no longer like them. What you have done before remains good, whether it's good or bad, it remains what it is. I am impl imploring the, pl the president to please step in. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, Mr. George. Um, uh, w w said many things in there, but I think it's it's apparent to everybody that this is a situation that will have to go to negotiation, dispute resolution. Yes, mm. and negotiation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you said, one you, there's no way out of this. Each side must be prepared to you know give up some. And gain some, so that there's yeah, an the, amicable situation yeah. at the end of the day. Because we have to, whether they're in court till uh, day after tomorrow. Uh, apparently, it's more than that. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's deeper than that, mm -hmm. and yeah. so it has to be negotiated out. Maybe the president might just have to, you know, it's bring a, influence to bear. It's, it's a, not it's as a, if a, the, the president can't by law. I imagine yeah. just and command. Then the, the, the dispute is within just one party. And but yes. the four members are APC. Members. Yes, yes. 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 So it is not even. It's easier to it's, resolve it's, that way. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it seems easier. Yeah, given that it seems easier, given that they are all from the same political party and uh, expected to have the same ideology, mm -hmm. except for these differences. But that the, has to, but, but yeah. the differences are so very deep. Yeah, no, they see, are the divided thing, sharply. Very and very deep. Position can take good advantage of this. This is the worry. Or sit them. This is the worry. This, this is, is the, the worry. other thing we should not forget is that Oshimoli is not just a godfather. Oshimoli um, transformed himself from just being a member of the party to chairman, national chairman of the party. It's one thing to be a party member and just be one man living in Jerry and who was former governor. But this man is not a national chairman. So the, the party at the party level of the National Assembly. He has influence there. If you remember, the House of Reps, which is said, ought not to have single-handedly um, taken that decision. They ought to have consulted with, since the bicameral legislature, they ought to have consulted with the Senate to arrive at a resolution. The House of Reps, the Federal House of Reps, had a unanimous decision mm. that the State House of Assembly is, 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 is fractured. You know, now the the, uh, the national chairman is in control of the party structures at the national level. And the area of resolution will come from the party itself. And the governor will be suspicious of the party because the, 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 the other party, the other person in this conflict is the national chairman. Don't forget this guy mentioned Odigio Yegu. Yeah. Odigio Yegu was also the chairman of the party. But the failure of the party to, con to allow Odigio Yegu to continue 
that made them to to, to elect um, Oshomole. So Oshomole took uh, Oyegun's place because that position was um, reserved for the South South. When Oyegun left, Oshomole came in. Oyegun is here to recover from the way he was removed there, and the papers had it that the, this uh, present conflict that Oyegun had in hand. That's why that man was trying to say. So every body must put in effort to build conflict resolution within parties and also deepen internal democracy in the party. If internal democracy is well deepened, some of this will have been resolved at the state level yeah. of the APC, yeah, yeah, could be resolved at the national level mm -hmm. of the APC. But then conflicts cannot be resolved when both parties are suspicious of the other person. Exactly. And um, you, know, you know we've been saying it for and forever and a day that um, the perception out there of the quality or level of internal democracy within APC uh, is open. Let's just leave it like that. And it's not just in Edo State. It's not just APC too. Mm. And, 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 and if APC. Not, yeah. not that you go but there, here, this not even APC. This on a very wrong footing. Mm -hmm. Just like this. So whereas all that you are saying is well reasoned and uh, it's logical and it is the path of you know, logic and peace and all of that. However, there's more to it than that when it comes to politics and power. So we're dealing with power blocks here. Mm -hmm. and yeah, but they should allow the decision of the people to prevail. The people of Edo State elected 24 members gave mandate, and that mandate cannot be extinguished. So at the end of the day, we are still going back to the drawing board, and then they will they will have lost a lot of time and all that, just yeah, like the, the Eighth Assembly. The, 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 that's the they, plan, they, to they, lose they, time. To, to lose time, yes. and they will not be able to perform, make laws that will affect yeah. the, 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 the life of the people, and that is wrong. Yeah, that's so that is why whatever they are doing, they must look at the people, the people who voted them in, the people who reserve the rights to be led but, the but right way. But since they can't seem to sort it out amongst themselves, um, that is the, the blocks there, the power blocks there, um, this idea of the president maybe bring some influence. After all, he has uh, massive goodwill, you know, uh, in, in the country and in his party. That's what I think. Uh, surely, if some of this can be brought to bear, um, it, it cannot be an effort that has gone amiss. But if I may the president is being. If I may the president, as you know, doesn't appear to be a very. If it doesn't appear to be a politician who has his feet on the ground, in the sense that um, this this APC is a conglomeration of ACN and the CPC, the or the party that the president was in before, and the, the president seems to be more influential when it concerns things that involves his former uh, party, the legacy parties of the APC, uh, the CPC, where the party, the president was from, and the C, um, ACN. So the president. We use goodwill, we use the power of the presidency to help. But this, this thing has to be resolved because both parties are wrong. The, the incumbent governor is thinking of 2020. He wants to come back. Mm. And he thinks that the House of Assembly, as presently as, as the election shows, will, will frustrate his coming back. And all these things also involve, um, it all involve involves, um, distribution of um, wealth, too. Yes. If the the budget of the state, mm -hmm. the commissioners mm -hmm. that will be chosen, mm -hmm. everything will now come in again. These nine people, he thinks, will help him get his commissioners, help him get the budget through. Okay. Those 15 people will be a clock in the perception of the government. Well, he can't, he yeah. can't even well, do it with those nine That is the truth. Okay, one moment, gentlemen. Uh, Honorable Olulade in Ekwe, Lagos, good morning. Good morning, uh, Kuyori. Good morning, sir. Yeah, um, for me, I think... Uh, we are introducing sentiment in what we are discussing here. When we talked about the legislative harm of government, it is expected that when they are being inaugurated, the full house must be in the know and everybody must be ready to be inaugurated. You can't do it over the night. That is a legislative rascality as could be described. But for me, I also want to use this opportunity to advise our leader to step in into this matter. The, the, the national leader of the party, the, head, uh, the, the president, must come in into this matter and other uh, leaders of the party to address the issue of uh, the, the uh, state House of Assembly. I think it is important 
so that we do not lose that thing. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are standing be be beside the line now, trying to capitalize on what is going on. Yeah. There is no way 15 legislative member elect can be, can be ruled out. Can be a glove no, in this whole matter. You can't do it. Because yeah. they are speaking on behalf of the 15 constituencies and comprises that made up the Edo State. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, the government might be doing well. That's a, that's a different ballgame. The legislative arm of government must not be desecrated the way it's being done now. All right, then. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Lulade. Appreciate My your pleasure. call. Uh, yeah. Honorable Lulade is a former legislator in the Lagos State House of Assembly himself. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's why... Yeah, you know, a, a yeah. lot of experience. Yes, uh, he could speak uh, with uh, yeah. that knowledge. Yes. Well, uh, I, I, there's, a, there's a sense in which that's about it. It's a fine place I wish to leave it, what the Honorable Gentleman said, mm. um, that leaders just have to come in now. Yes. Uh, we, we were talking just before the, his call came in about the President possibly bringing some goodwill and influence to bear. Uh, towards resolving the situation. You were analyzing that and um, how far such influence really was yeah. pervasive. Even what he said now about um, maybe Bolak Metinugu being one of the national leaders coming, mm -hmm. it also is peculiar. Yeah. Even from this or Shimole, they have not really associated themselves with the southwest of the APC <laughs> very, very, very closely. It always looked like it always looked like <laughs> oh, a separate, a separate oh, version of uh, the APC. Evans, do you, you see know? like that? Uh, well, you know, because they are not even part it, of the southwest. The southwest in the first place. They, so go. they also have their own ideology. Yeah, uh, so, well, and you know how they came into power. Yes. Uh, you know how you know, it was through the court and all yes, that. Yes. that so they were able to secure it, that place. It, it, it's an uh, issue that so. looks almost um, intractable, but mm. actually, uh, it, 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 it can't. It's still democracy. Uh, if you can't but, but it, 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 it can be resolved. Yeah, One, but the issue of no it can be resolved. settlement can be. that he talked about, I think settlement should be, settlement should be removed from this. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, it should be removed outright. If we can remove sentiment we can. from yeah, it. that says the sentiment, the one saying the leader should be. If sentiments are removed, then we are going back to the court. Because you cannot, no, no, because you cannot, you cannot okay. overnight, you know, okay. just, you know. We, we, we've run out of time. Thank you very much, Barrister Ofeli yes. and um, Dr. Boyo. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, that's our program. Um, please join us on Monday for a fresh edition. And do have a great weekend. I'm Yori Folarin. Bye-bye for now.